the northern areas of Port Elizabeth has been historically neglected and has been plagued with societal problems such as poverty, crime, gangsterism and unemployment. The Northern Arts Festival, however, has begun to turn the tide in the northern areas and has had a major impact on the community. Join us on this journey as we discover how the community has changed over the years. I started music, I started listening to music in church. Um, I was cleaning the instruments and eventually uh, I got a desire just to play the guitar. And um, I never had anybody who formally taught me music around about that time. So um, it was very difficult for me to actually learn the guitar and I had to make use of the radio. Um, we used to do a lot of talent shows and plays and school productions, you know, all the small things, but like the little exposure that you got. And then, um, yeah, and then we found the Northern Arts Festival and we did an audition for a competition. From there we, we won second place at that competition and from there we got major exposure and our career just hit off after that. I mean, I was so nervous being on stage because I'd never been on a platform of that caliber before. And I, I, I just want to say thank you to Ero for introducing me to the Northern Arts Festival. From that standpoint, I, I met Billy Paulson, who, who discovered my talent. And the rest was history. Every year I've been invited back to the Northern Arts Festival. I met Uncle Billy Paulson. Uh, I actually went to his office looking for a job. Then he told me that he doesn't have a job for me, but I actually forced him. I went there every day and um, eventually he gave in and said, okay, I can help out in the office. But since I was driving the time, Uncle Bali said, there's no way I can drive at the festival since I don't even have a driver's license. And that is how everything started. He assisted me. He actually paid for me to go for a driver's license, learner's license. And, and then I was driving the artist for him at the festival. Kuka Program Development uh, approached me, offering me a job at Kuka. Since I don't even have matric, they asked me to run a program for them. In Wolomo, I trained about 400 unemployed people to get a learner's in license. And I started my own business, started uh, my own driving school. The volunteers are being trained, um, especially the younger ones. We teach them values. We teach them the importance of work um, and that everything is important how to serve because the, 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 the volunteers being the backbone um, of the festival, um, they, they must learn you know, what the importance of work is and the value in doing that and also how to serve people. So they generally, we do character training, we do, um, we do value training, we give them basic skills. But through the arts festival, you're able to harness the heritage of an area. You're able to harness the potential of the people in that area. And if that is harnessed, then you bring people to come and enjoy it and, and, and feel it. And, and, and really, it becomes, call it a tourism attraction, but it also becomes a magnet for people to start to exchange culturally. You know, we as a media company are always looking for talent and this showcases talent. Um, it's also a platform for us to possibly have um, the talent that we have to be showcased at the festival. But it's a, a symbiotic uh, relationship and uh, we, we as Kingfisher FM would always promote the Northern Arts uh, Festival. I was driven by Billy's passion for this. Um, and I know Billy, Billy and I go back a few years. And uh, yeah, the, the, the manner in which he drives it, his passion for this, his love for this. Um, and when he first came to see me about it and said, listen, this is his plan, as you know, Billy always has this incredible way of describing what he wants to do. And I said, oh, Billy, that's something we'd like to get involved in. Um, and a lot of our folk um, that work here come from the northern areas. Uh, we have three stores in those areas where three retailers are from that area. Um, and, and, you know, uh, the fact that it's, it's, it's all about the arts and the culture, I think it's something that kind of gets lost, um, especially in the northern areas where while well, the other areas are well taken care of. So it did resonate with us. The one thing that comes to my mind is that uh, the labor shall not be in vain. It's the one, one thing. Uh, and uh, when the festival is finished and everybody packs up, I said, I'm looking forward to the next year. 
From our side, um, really, when the Northern Arts Festival takes place over that weekend, um, there is really a, a decrease in crime. Um, and at the event itself, at the event itself, there's, there's for the past years, we, we can proudly say that um, it was a crime-free event. No incidents took place in and around the event itself and in and around the suburbs attached to where the, the event took place. For it to, to get bigger, but without it just getting bigger as a, um, an arts festival, for it to perhaps get deeper, and when I say deeper, to, to get deeper into community. Grow bigger and give sponsors, get sponsors for the festival to grow bigger because the festival is not only changing artists, it's changing people like me as well. To groom more local artists, to give exposure to more local artists, um, and not just that, but to actually bring the rest of the world to Port Elizabeth. 